Hello YouTubers. Have you ever been excited about you know, some motors you ordered for your electric skateboard or in my case it would be the electric go-kart? Well, I have. And once this motor's arrived, they let me down. And those are the motors in question. They do have some potential and they could be really powerful, but there's a few problems that I want to show you and then also a solution at home that what you can do to make these motors work the way they were supposed to. Let's check it out. The motor that I'm talking about today is this guy. It's a Flip Sky 80, 85, 170 kV motor. Retail at 170. And it's got some impressive stats. 6,000 watts power, can do 14S, 120 amps. Uh, I, got this I got this motors to replace my 6384s flip sky motors that I got for go-kart project, which from the beginning, these guys were pretty loud. And after some time, they started click the magnets started clicking. I've taken them apart to discover that magnets and coils are rubbing together and some magnets are getting damaged. I told the flip sky about this issue and they said that this motor was too small for my go-kart and the torque output that the go-kart would create. So they told me to get the 8085 motors. So I did. I got them and I installed them right away. The first thing that I noticed after I installed them is that they were super loud, brand new. Especially mid-range RPMs, they would get louder than probably gasoline engine. They were that noisy. And that much noise can only come from vibrations. Either my magnets were vibrating or something else was going on. The biggest problem with this motor is that if you look at the power output that it can generate, and I ran this motor at 12S, 100 amps per motor, which is way under what it says here. All the rotational power of the motor is transferred to the shaft through this, this, this little guys. This little screws is what holds the outrunner part. The out, outrunner part is what spins the shaft and gives the motor all the torque and all the power. There is four of these guys up front and then six on the back. And it's a two and a half millimeter screw that's buried into a few few millimeters into some soft metal, some aluminum. So the, no, the problem I've had with the motors that killed this motor, I had to revive it, was this screw, all the screws kept on getting loose. I kept on tightening them and they, they would get loose from just rotation and vibration. So eventually the screw came out, got sucked in into the magnet of the motor, broke a bunch of magnets here and seized up the motor. The only thing that's holding the rotor in place and here and making sure that the whole assembly works the way it's intended to. Intended to is this four screws. This is aluminum here, and this four two and a half millimeter screws, which again on me have failed. So the goal here is to retap this holes, and instead of using a two and a half millimeter screw, I'm going to use the four millimeter, the four M point seven thread screw, and assemble the motor back together. And that will give it at least in my opinion, reliability. Let's take a look at the outrunner part of the motor and the magnets. So they have a spacer that keeps all the magnets nicely spaced up here in the bottom. On the top, they got nothing. So if one of the magnets or some magnets separate from the hole, they're gonna start traveling. And that's what happened to my other motor as well. I had a separation of magnets and it did not stay in place so the second part of this upgrade is I'm putting I'm 3d printing a spacer ring for this magnets right here and there she is finished spacer
so far here is what I've done. I've uh, glued in the spacers right here in between the magnets to make sure that magnets don't get knocked off course. Uh, second thing I did is increase the bore hole to four millimeter and made a thread, new thread in this holes. So it's four millimeter, 0.7 millimeter tread. So now we're gonna put it all together and run it on the stand, see if it's... stand and see how it performs. And here's the final result of the work of improving the motor. It is still not super quiet but it was never quiet to begin with. At least now I know that the motor is reinforced and the screws are not gonna go flying out. I'm out.